I had this brilliant idea to create a Python project of a memes generator. And here is how. I love coding and memes, and by the way, in my social media you can find a lot of memes related with coding. So make sure you take a look. So I started a journey where I need to develop the project to save the memes community. I only had 377 hours to complete this project, and without room for failure, I had to complete this meme generator. So I've decided to start working on this project immediately. Take a look at these first versions. They had the basic functionalities, but I knew I couldn't stop there. I had to push further until I reached the global meme standard, and that was until I got a problem, and the time was starting to running out. It was a problem that stood between me and the final meme generator with Python. But fear not, I'm here to tell the story of how I overcame this problem and completed the meme generator. It all started with Visual Studio Code, a file.py and import blah blah blah, import blah blah blah. Then the first thing to do was to create a function that was able to select a meme from a given folder. But wait, I don't have memes yet. So I went on my first adventure to Google, searching for memes to create a Narcom memes. I ended up with more than 1000 images. Can you believe that? Finally, after running the code for the first time, I noticed that it was grabbing the image and displaying the image as expected. Then, moving on to the next part, finding a way to add the text that we want into the image. And that was easy. However, to make this generator more robust, we needed to add a logic for line breaks to avoid a problem like this. And after a few more lines of code, that logic was implemented and the result was good. Nevertheless, something was still missing. The font type. And this was a big challenge. So I went on another adventure into the internet, searching for the font type of memes. And of course that somewhere on the internet someone knows this. Thank you to that person. So after downloading this font and using it in the code, of course it wasn't finished yet. The final step of this journey was to add a shadow to this font type. And after applying an interesting process, I finally made it. Here is the final result. If you'd like to know more interesting stories and original projects like this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more. And if you'd like to make this project, here is the video for the Python tutorial. I hope to see you around. Peace. Bye.